Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, where we're doing science mostly for the excuse of blowing things up, but also maybe science. So I uploaded a video not too long ago talking about flat crams, which uh, if you haven't seen the video is basically crams uh, with an unprotected uh, firing piece and with a muzzle velocity set so that they can aim over the top of other flat crams. As illustrated by this thing over here, you can just do this, and the crams elevate just enough to do this. You can all fire over each other, and it's kind of a... Almost like an old-school compromise. Back in the days when crams had lower muzzle velocity, like, you know, it was very easy to get them to do this. Uh, it's still easy to do now, but, like, you know, it's questionable why you would want to. But anyway, besides the point. Anyway, so they're kind of a compromise between a regular full-velocity cram and a mortar. And the question remains, what should you fill your deck space with if you want to just spam cram? Which is better, flat crams or mortars? And there's probably much more scientific ways to um, go about this, but I have built a flat cram craft and a mortar craft, and I'm going to have them fight. And if you want to skip ahead to the fight, there will be a timestamp for that, no worries. But for those of you who want to see uh, the, in the intricacies of the craft, uh, because these two things are almost identical, stick with me. So, here we have in the middle the template craft for this, uh, which is just basically nice and empty. It's vaguely canoe-shaped. It's got uh, ammo compartment in the front and back. It's got a little uh, detection mast uh, that is nice and well covered. Like, got a little uh, camera and laser target there. You can see this thing is mostly empty. Its uh, propulsion is very, very safe. Uh, actually, in the wet gap in the hull, uh, it's got a little bit of pitch control in the front, and it's got some roll control on the sides. And it's got an AI compartment and engines in the middle here, uh, which is uh, covered by a layer of Citadel armor. Well, I guess this is Citadel armor. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. Uh, but anyway, this is covered here, and the deck is extra thick, so layer of alloy, layer of metal, layer of alloy again. And the reason for that is because I'm assuming I don't want these things to be too vul uh, vulnerable to plunging fire, uh, so the deck is usually thicker than, is a little bit thicker than what I usually do, and um, we'll get into what they're facing in a moment, uh, which is basically weak-ish uh, pin depth grams. So yeah, that's basically the gist of the template, and now moving on to the mortar craft, or rather, let's start with this guy, because I built him first. Uh, so this is basically the same craft, oh, I forgot to mention this little detection uh, turret on the front here, uh, just so the crams aren't horribly inaccurate, or I guess more horribly inaccurate, because they are really inaccurate, as you're about to see right here. So, Right here, we've got two kinds of turret. We've got a big one, and we've got a small one. Let's just go template six there. This is the full turret. It's quite tall, and it's got uh, 3x3 3D Tetris in there. It's uh, nothing incredibly exotic. Uh, this is basically the go-to 3x3, and yeah. So it is 50% HE and 50%... Um, like, well, slightly more hardened than HE, and it is a uh, pen depth. So, if we go here, you'll see the fuses are time from first impact and inertial, and the inertial is set quite high because uh, you don't want it exploding on water if it uh, gets a shot below the waterline. So, uh, as for the top of the thing, true flat cram, uh, unprotected firing piece, uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, shots from behind don't accidentally hit it and destroy the whole thing. Horribly inaccurate. The inaccuracy is 1.2, which means that a single one of these turrets is basically useless because it can never hit anything, which is why you have lots of them. So let's see, how many do we have? We have 32 on a 200k craft. So this is a fair amount of cram. Is this efficient usage of space for cram? No, but this is for fun and science. Uh, so yeah, these things are horribly inaccurate. The shell speed has been reduced just to 150 meters, so they can arc over each other properly. And there is a second version uh, down here, uh, which is a slightly smaller turret because it is sitting on top of the AI, AI compartment. And it's basically exactly the same, except uh, the reload speed is a little bit slower. 
and as you can see here uh, you got just a whole bunch of these little crams effectively acting as extra shielding for the AI compartment because uh, uh, is you've basically got a little roof of, uh, well, firing pieces, barrels, uh, metal bits, and applique uh, between uh, the AI and anything plunging down. That's the idea anyway. The AI compartment probably should get armored a little bit more, but, like, you know, I didn't want to overdo it in case we just end up just watching these things go at each other for ages. And so over here, the mortar craft, just to keep things as consistent between the two craft as possible, these are pretty much uh, identical turrets. So we got one of these things here. We've got the tall version. And over here, we've got the short version. So, pretty much exactly the same stats. So, what do we got there? 28, 28, 28, 31. And reload time is 7.1. And what do we got here? 28, 28, 28, 31. And we'll see 7.1. So, exactly the same reload speed. Slightly lower muzzle velocity, because I did some combat testing and that seems to help. And much more accurate though, an accuracy of 0.53, and remember, um, crams coming in uh, on a very high angle, they have a little bit of a homing effect on them. So these things, at least against a static target, are way more accurate than those flat crams. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what is the deal there. And both of these things are very low slung. Uh, so plunging fire will make or break uh, this matchup, and the mortars have the advantage there because uh, the side armor of this thing is it's not incredible, but it's decently thick. It's got layer of metal, then it's got a double layer of wood metal checkerboard, mixing in cheap uh, hit points with armor stacking, which I swear by, like, not everyone likes to do this, which is fine, but I swear by this, the math checks out. And we've got a little air gap filler, which isn't strictly necessary because this, you know, we're not dealing with heat or hash. But I'm in the habit of doing this now and I can't stop. Uh, plus one more layer of metal uh, on the inside. So it's decently well armored against uh, HE and uh, and AP. So probably through the sides is not where, where we're going to see a lot of damage. We're going to see it through the top of the deck. So without further ado, whoops, uh, let us have these two shoot each other non-stop. So it'll be best of three. I have no idea how long that'll take. We might get like instant AI deads, but uh, let's just go. There we go. That's a better thumbnail. I'm not even going to take a thumbnail. But anyway, I will see you in the custom battle setup and we'll have them and them fight. Alrighty, so here we are in the custom battle setup. Uh, these things are really hard to tell apart from a distance, as it turns out, because it's basically the same boat. Uh, but uh, we'll be able to tell the difference just by looking at the arc of the cram shots, which is nice. I should mention as well, these things are almost identical uh, in terms of cost. I think the flat cram contender is just the, you know, a few materials cheaper. But enough of that, let's see these two fight. Have a go, lads. So, flat cram contender fires first, mostly misses, mortars are flying up. Both of these things move at about 30 meters per second, so they're gonna miss a lot. First blood, whoa, no actually. Oh yeah, first blood goes to the flat crams, and looks like most of those are hitting the side armor, which is doing not a hell of a lot, because, uh, nice armor stack in there. I think the detection masks are, uh, masks, masks are actually gonna get, uh, messed up a little bit. And the mortars are much better protected, they've got that little ring there. And, uh, yeah, they're both kind of wide, which means the mortars, once they get their iron, uh, this'll be a little bit easier for the mortars. Did the mortars stop aiming? That looks like it could be kind of fatal. Hold on. Nope, hold on. Nope, missed. Oh, that was close though. It was very close. It looks like the mortars do actually need to get kind of close in order to land shots. This could be a close fight. Let's see here. Are they gonna collide? Most of, they're mostly missing. These are horribly inaccurate weapon systems. If you want accurate, oh my goodness! And this is actually a 
fair demonstration of why keeping a low pro- Whoa, that looked painful. Let's see what happened there. Some barrels got trimmed. No internal damage. I think I might have made these things too tanky. But I guess that's the idea. We want- Whoop! Hello. I think the mortars just straight up cannot hit this- hit these things. I think I made them too fast. But you never- you never know. Uh oh, hello. Nope. Yeah, I think the mortar- uh, the mortar thing is, uh, having real trouble. There is always the possibility that I just, uh, stuffed up, um, the mortar somehow. Because this thing is having real trouble aiming at things, really, like... Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. It's landed shots. Where did the shots land? Let's see, those shells... Oh, see, there's the difference. That's already threatening a turret. It is amazing, just, uh, oh, wait, whoa, hello. Yep, that's one turret knocked out. One turret has been knocked out. Let's see here. How many turrets do you have alive? Pretty much all of them, actually. So this is the benefit of mortars, is that you can kind of hide uh, the important parts of the cram cannon uh, deep inside the hull. You, in fact, can put the firing piece, like, down, like, near the stern. I tend not to do that. But yeah, it's like, it's something I feel I should start doing. Uh, these things are on turrets simply because, like, you know, it literally just occurred to me that you could have the freaking, oh, hello, you're landing shots now. That ran. you better kill your opponent fast, because once mortars do get their eye in, uh, it could be painful for you. I need to set up the detection systems better for both of them, actually. Yeah, mortars really struggle, though, against uh, anything that's moving... Well, anything moving this fast and erratically, actually. Although just one lucky volley could take out the AI, so that's a thing. And most of these are missing. But enough of them are hitting. Well, th this is the benefit, is that uh, the, uh, the flat prams are just arcing... Well, they essentially fire faster because they get their shots on target sooner and have the same fire rate. So the time it takes the mortar cram to like get a few volleys off is hello. What did that do? Oh, hello, hello, hello. What the? That looks like lead. Whoa! Whoo, baby! <laughs> This is what I wanted to see. So those mortars, because mortars arc straight down uh, onto the whoop, onto the deck, it means that they can get plunging shots that'll just go straight through ships. But it looks like you need to get lucky for that to happen in random block targeting. You never know. I do think uh, the mortar, uh, the flat crowns are going to win this though, so because they're just, they're just. Whoa, hello. Nicking ya. It's getting nicked. Whoop. If that main volley lands uh, dead center, it's immediately game over. But it looks like those pin depth crams are slowly but surely, yeah, they're chewing their way through the side. Just bit by bit. It's like they're small crams, but they're still cram cannons. They absolutely will get through armor. Uh, given enough time, particularly like uh, particularly armor like this. I forgot to show the like. I forgot to mention the gauge of the crams, but um, oh hello, whoa, nope, missed. Maybe I did stuff up the mortars because they shouldn't be missing by by this much. Or maybe I just made these things too fast. I'm not sure. This is why I'm hesitant to draw conclusive results from this, but I think f the flat crams are definitely showing their very strong advantages at this point. Because they're just landed. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. Oh, wait, no. Uh oh. Oh, AI dead! Whoo! Well, th there you go! <laughs> I knew something like this would happen. That is the Mortar Cram's main way to get an advantage. Because you, if you just get 
Let's let's have a look at that just before it despawns. This is exciting. This is exciting and fun. Look at this. Where where did that happen? There it happened. Wait, where the how did that happen? Let's go find the uh, compartment. Which should be what the Oh no, if this was explosion warping, I'm gonna be so angry. Nope, it's not. Okay, where, did, where the hell did this... How did this happen? <gasps> Whoa! That was like, yeah, that came in through here. Look at that. Whee! Kablooey! And just took out the eye uh, Just like that. Amazing! So that right there is like, when lucky... When mortars get lucky with their shots, they get lucky as hell, man. Because it means, like, it doesn't matter if all the other shots miss, if you can AI dead something just like that, so suddenly, out of nowhere, just like, damn. This is why in uh, uh, cram-only tournaments you do see mortars a lot, is because you can't armor your deck as heavily as you armor, your, you know, your, you can't have deck armor as thick as your side armor because, like, you know, there's too many problems uh, with doing that. Yeah, Mordecraft, round one is the winner. Let's do that again. Let's do it again. Ooh, this is so fun. I get to watch cram cannons go brrr or boom. Right, so we got mortars on the left. We got flat crams on the right. Round two. So flat crams open fire first. I don't, I expect that this will be mostly the same. Uh, as the first round. Oh, unless the motor car carrier gets blinded immediately. Doesn't look like that's happened, though. Uh, stacked alloy is not the best armor, but uh, for superstructure, it works kind of well, actually. So it looks like, yep. Whoop. Oh, hello. Nope, that missed horribly. The fact that the motor ca carrier's, um guns can stay alive just so well because the firing pieces are actually buried deep within the deck like that's handy that is super handy and even if the barrels get snubbed doesn't matter too much oh hello that cram got dinged where did oh my god whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hello 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 oh wow no way Yo, wow, AI dead again. It's like, well, this video was considerably shorter than I than I thought it was going to be. Mortars really rely on lucky shots, and I'd be the first to admit that these mortars I've set up are not ideal. They're kind of mad. They're actually, actually at a bit of a handicap because they're uh, matching in terms of stats and uh, how much space they're taken up uh, by the flat cram. So... Yes, like, when, fi when firing against a target that is cram-suitable, uh, mortars still seem to have a bit of an edge. Alright, so I know I said best of three, but I cannot resist. Like, the mortar carrier is one. Just so we're clear, it's one. It's one both times, best of three, it is the winner. But I want to do a bonus round, because I'm just having fun at this point. <laughs> Where are you, lads? There you go. And it's certainly not because I'm in love with the idea of flat cams and want to keep using them. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna use both. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if anything goes... I guess if you uh, stick EMP on the flat crams, it'll be a little bit better. Uh, because then it'll just, you know, it doesn't matter where it hits so much. Because this is horribly inaccurate. Also, in a weird way, uh, this this kind of craft that I've come up with here... Ooh. That first volley is getting more and more accurate every time. I'm just gonna follow the mortars. Yeah, missing by basically inches. Let's just follow the mortars. See, actually, wow, what happened to you? Did you get shot? It is quite handy to just have a whole field of mortars do something like this. There's definitely types of cram shell that work a lot better with flat crams than with mortars. Because, like, airburst crams, yeah, nah, like, the mortars don't actually do that well. They should, 
in theory, but they don't. They generally don't find it works very well. Just cheap, spammy APHE mortars would do really wonderful. Or just AP, or just HE EMP, or just HE. Also, interestingly enough, it looks like the flat grams have a range advantage. There's a distances where the mortars can't actually fire properly. Actually, follow the mortars. Where are they landing? Landing a little short. Yep. Actually, wow, dude, you whiffed. Maybe I need to. I, I don't know. This template build was kind of rushed, so maybe, just maybe, I stuffed up the detection a little bit. Probably should set them to track uh, for longer, give them longer times and all of that. Let's follow this. Alright, so finally drop below a little bit of health. What's happening here? Do these things get destroyed? Nope, they're doing quite well actually. Spraying it out like that. I guess you could make the argument this is still slightly more versatile uh, than more. Uh oh. Nope. See, that's the killer volley. If that lands like dead center it's over <laughs> it's goodbye that's all she wrote i think uh our flat crams here need to get lucky um with um like just taking out the turrets or taking out the detection mast As you can see this isn't super efficient because oh hello whoop 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 let's see here where are the mortars? The mortars are not doing anything. Alright, so now it seems that um, just in terms of the shell velocity, the slightly higher uh, muzzle velocity of the flat crams and the fact that they're firing at a lower angle actually gives them a little bit of extra distance. And because they're so inaccurate, ironically, that means every volley is more likely to hit something, at least one of them. Let's follow these shells. Let's see where they go. That actually looks kind of dangerous. If this actually hits where I think it's going to hit... Nope! Whiffed completely. Maybe I should make these mortars more accurate. I actually want to try that now. It's just the burying the firing pieces like essentially uh, on the stern, so to speak. Uh, so you get maximum accuracy out of mortars. It's never occurred to me to try that, and it really should have. Imagine if these shells were a bit stronger, just uh, how these craft would actually be just destroying each other instantly. Yeah, looks like, nope, that is going to whiff completely. Dancing around the mortar volleys, like it ain't no thing. I guess mortars might be useful to, at the very least in a tournament sense, simply because they can get lucky like that. It's like, it's probably worth it just for an instant AI dead. But yeah, it's like, um... Yeah, flat crams is looking like... When compared in this sense, at least. Uh, not a hell of a... Not much better at mortars... Uh, than dealing with the kind of things crams are usually good at dealing with because, well, they're so horribly inaccurate. Which is probably why you want to scale them up a little bit and have them uh, be timed frag instead. That seems to get good results. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. Lots of missing. I'm so glad I didn't put repair bots on these things because otherwise this would take ages. Let's see here. How's your armor look? It's uh, looking well. There's definite gaps in there, and there's the uh, there's little things there that. Oh, hello. There was a direct hit on a mortar. You do and remember these cram shells aren't particularly strong, but that little turret ring design with just the little ring of two meter metal beams, uh, plus um, plus a bit of a plique. That's actually standing up to them pretty damn well. A few barrels are getting snubbed here and there. Let's see here, that... Missed! See, the angle of view is very awkward, like, you see... Why 
Hey, you further down. Oh, probably because you. Okay, yep. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Well, there the deck armor just took it, and it looks like you. Wow, yep, uh, that's. Uh, this is what mortars do. AP mortars have a tendency to just all concentrate on the same spot. And. You know, get deep in there. Get deep and dirty, as they say. Who says that? I don't know. Are there any mortars on the charge? Well, that is a weird thing with mortars is that you do have to get kind of close in order to use them because low muzzle velocity I guess let's see here where is this going I wonder that it's hard to tell hard to tell hard to tell nope it's easy to tell uh oh uh oh oh never mind whoa that did that did tickle your tail a little bit mate you want to start juking and diving more than that Oh boy. Well, this is going to be a long slog. You know what? It's an excuse to watch cram cannons go, you know, go kablooey. So, who who's count who cares? So, it is basically a race to see uh, what gives out first and whether the mortars get lucky or whether it runs out of time and uh, gets its side armor breached. Because this thing is actually kind of tall, which means that when you get a massed volley of stuff it does tend to go through there. This armor is holding up decently well. Like I said, it's not amazing. It's uh, not that thick. But uh, given that like this 30 plus AP crams repeatedly flinging uh, at it. Oh, hello. You've lost some mortars by the looks of it. Yeah, that, that extra layer of metal though. Woo, that does make a big difference to survivability. See here, how are you doing? You are very much in the lead health-wise. And the, your little detection turret is very secure and safe. And what's happening over there? Is that mortar gonna do anything? I don't think so. Kinda depends on like uh, whether these two end up going in a straight line or not. Because anything going in a nice steady straight line is uh, easy prey for mortars so let's see what's that gonna do nope that is going to terrify some fish and yes I'm aware staggered fire uh, is probably a good idea with mortars but it tends to do that anyway also I didn't feel like syncing up 30 different like mortar things so that might be laziness on my part why am I making an excuse for the mortar craft when it's already won it has already won nothing else like uh, we're really polluting the ocean with, you know, shells the size of a bus. Because remember, like, 1.3 meters is... What is that? Is 130 centimeters? Okay, a lot of people... That's quite short for a person, but you know what? That's like the height of a small child. <laughs> I think? Is it? I don't know. I don't hang out with children. It'd be really weird if I did, considering that I don't have any. And I never will. My legacy is... My legacy is from the depths. <laughs> my legacy is from the depths in a master's thesis, which only got like a C plus. Oh dear. We've gotten to the stage where I start to get... Oh wow, dude, what the hell? Ugh. Maybe I did set up the mortars poorly. Oh, drop below 90% health. Don't think that long. Nope, it is breached. Oh, that's bad for you. Bad for you. And that's whiffed entirely. I do actually want to experiment with like much bigger flat crams. Because so long as the, uh, the barrel is just, you know, within the width of the turret cap. I think you could put these things right next to each other with no problems. Which I am absolutely down with. Let's see here. Where'd the mortar volley go? Oh, dearie, dearie me. I think detection might have gotten damaged. I think detection might have gotten damaged. Here, how are you doing? Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. Bearing rain. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yep. That explains a lot. 
Uh, Mortar Carrier is now officially in trouble because its trackers are gone. It's not going to hit anything. This is going to be a slow death. Let's see, where are those mortars going? They're going... Wow, those are way off. Yeah, we're not going to get a full AI kill, I don't think so. I'm just going to sit back and watch and wait for magic to happen. So I'll see you in a bit with the speeding up a little bit. Alright, so it's been a little while and the mortars have basically only managed to hit uh, the flat cram boat at least at, like just once. But the flat cram contender for some reason is going to run out of materials very soon. So, uh, if it doesn't manage to kill uh, the... Uh... Oh, hello. Are you sinking? You might actually be sinking. Oh, you have a few seconds to make magic happen. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, if you run out of materials, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a draw, possibly. That's what happens when you get most of the wood and you blow out. Only a few more materials to go. Neither of these things have sonar, by the way. I'm tempted to just let it keep going, but, uh... And somebody is out of materials, and oh hello, the mortars have actually gotten their iron. So now, I was going to just call it there, but now I just want to see if the mortar carrier sinks uh, before it manages to blow the hell out of this thing. I'm tempted, I'm te I don't think it's going to happen. Can you hit a stationary target is the question, with your trackers blown off. The answer is yes. <laughs> oh, I think the mor- I was gonna call it. But, uh, I think the mortar carrier might just, uh... Or not. Oh dear. I think I might call this a draw. Yeah, this is gonna- t this is gonna take too long. And it's a little bit silly. Alright, so what we've got here is the mortar carrier won twice. So it's definitely won. Uh, because just, you know, essentially bullets to the head, as mortars sometimes do. Uh, but third round, bonus round, is a draw because uh, the detection of the mortar carrier was disabled, so it can't hit anything. Uh, but uh, the flat crams has a significant health lead, and you know, just you know, it's not dead yet, is it? And like, so this is stalemate. So what we learned is that mortars are well. If we've learned anything, I guess mortars are better at the specialized job of killing. Uh, you know, things which are big and slow-ish, and are armored, because they just drop straight to the deck and blow things up. Uh, but uh, flat crams, because they're a compromise between regular crams and mortars, is that they're better at doing consistent damage, even though they miss a lot. And uh, so yeah, I hope this was uh, interesting, I hope you learned something, and if you didn't learn anything, well, I hope you had fun watching uh, these two silly boats uh, blow the hell out of each other. Anyway, so... Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.